I'm so happy to be back in my kitchen sharing another recipe with you. This one is particularly exciting for me because it's Halloween coming up and I got the opportunity to review a really delicious product and it's Romeo. So this um, product's really special. I have two flavors here. It's hazelnut and almond and the reason I find it so very special is because it's made with three ingredients. So the nut, in this case almond, that case hazelnut, the cocoa nibs, and just some coconut sugar. They stone grind this so you get a really delicious texture and taste out of this. So what I love about it is that it kind of comes um, more solid and spreadable for your for toast or any type of treat that you want to spread this onto. But if you put a little heat on it, um, I just put mine on the warmest part of the top of my stove and it it liquefied it enough for me to be able to use it as a sauce. Um, so you could also do that. So it's quite versatile. Right here, it's more sauce-like. So um, what I decided to do with it today was to make a Halloween treat. I just love the idea of making homemade snacks for Halloween. Super healthy and uh, deliciously satisfying in chocolates that you can either use little paper molds for and fill them with any type of nuts and seeds and dried fruit and chocolates or the chocolate monster here which I'm going to show you how to make right now. <laughs> this guy just came to me two minutes before shooting this video. I was going to simply just make you these delicious uh, chocolate cups which always satisfy my sweet tooth and my soul but then I played around with these ingredients just like a little kid would do <laughs> and I came up upon the chocolate monster. So hope you guys enjoy this recipe and share it with all your friends. So here we go. It's very simple. So I'm using the pomegranate just to secure my banana um, sticks into um, so that way they stand up vertically. And basically to hold the chocolate monster together I'm just using a little wooden stick. You can use any type of skewer that you might have lollipop stick. I like this because it's a little bit longer. So um, I'm going to cut a little slit into my pomegranate simply to hold in place hold in place my my wooden stick and I chose the pomegranate. You could use any fruit but I thought a little extra special effects like the red juicy blood of the pomegranate would make a great effect on the handle of these. So um, you can get really creative with that if you'd like. Just kind of get it down in there so that bloody juice gets all over it. Then what you're going to need are some dates. Now I had bought these super, super soft barhi dates from the farmer's market. You're going to want a really soft, squishy date because the more the flesh indents, the more gory of a face you can make for the chocolate monster. So. I simply pitted the date. Now these dates are so soft that the pit just pulls right out when I pull out that little end cap. But on the ones that don't slide out so easily, I simply just use a pair of tweezers to pull the pit out. That way you still keep the date intact. So you're just going to remove this part right here. And once that part comes out, you're going to take the tweezers here and don't worry if uh, you squeeze a little much and it starts to tear a bit. Just try to do it as gently as possible. But also, um, don't be afraid too much. These aren't meant to look really pretty. They're meant to look a little gory and scary. And if the tweezers aren't working for you, you can certainly get fingers in there if they're tiny enough. Okay, so we get the pit out. We have our date. You can kind of mangle him back together too if for any reason he gets really messy in that process. Okay, so what we're also going to need for the base of the body is a banana. So I'm using just a regular sized banana. I'm going to cut it in threes to make three bodies. So we have the banana body right here. And I'm going to place the body on the stick, insert in the center, right in the center of that banana. I'm going to let it go through about right there. We want to leave about this much space for the head. So then taking our pitted date, we're going to place that right on top. And you see, because it's such a soft date, I can indent it with my fingers. That's going to make the markings for our face. So, I'm using the 
chocolate sauce in two ways. I'm using the chocolate sauce to glue the fruit eyes to the date, and I'm using either dried blueberries or you can use dried goji berries. I'm using the goji berry for the mouth and the dried blueberries for the eyes. You can also use sunflower kernels, sesame seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds, whatever's in your kitchen that can make some really good eyes and mouth and special effects for the face, go with that. So what I need to do now is actually get my chocolate sauce onto the eyes. You could do it two ways. You can dip the fruit into the chocolate, like so, creating a little glue on there, and then inserting it into the face. Or you can use something like this or a pastry bag and inject it. I prefer the really simple method of just dipping it, dipping the fruit in, smushing it on there. This guy's got some really big eyes. Great. Then doing the same with the goji berry, getting enough chocolate on there to make a mouth, to make it stick. There we have it. Get really fun and creative with how you place those facial features on there. And then for the banana outfit. This part, I just like to make it a little more on the gory side. So the pomegranate, there we go. Just get it to just stand up straight as straight as you can. And then just start to rip in, ooze in the chocolate down the banana. And if you didn't have one of these or a pastry bag or a squirt bottle, you could really just do this with a fork or a spoon and just dripping it on there. It's okay if some of the chocolate gets on his face. It just justifies even more why he's a chocolate monster. So get him really, really kind of gory looking, really like he just came out of a chocolate swampy bath. And then you can sprinkle some sesame seeds on him if you want a little contrast and effect on him. There we go. And that's the chocolate monster, you guys. <laughs> I think we all have a chocolate monster in our house, so now we can finally give a face with the name. <laughs> and these guys are great to eat just as is, or you can pop them in the fridge, and that chocolate's going to harden up a little bit, so it gives it this nice little crunchy texture. Pop it in the fridge for maybe about 10 or 15 minutes to get that delicious crunch. Okay, so if the chocolate monster is a little too involved, this chocolate monster, there we go. If it's too involved and you just want a quick, simple recipe that you can do to make your own homemade chocolates, I just recommend taking that chocolate sauce that we just got from the Ramio, mixing in some nuts, I'm using nuts and seeds here, chia seeds, pecans, and some sunflower seeds. Mixing in some of those. Mixing in a pinch of sesame seeds. And taking our dried fruit here, some goji berries and blueberries. Mixing that in. Giving it a stir. You can just use a fork. Stir it all around and we get this really nice chocolatey, crunchy chocolate bar. And this is the hazelnut one, so it has this already super nice hazelnutty flavor to it. And then it kind of takes on almost like this chocolate coated Rice Krispie treat. So with that texture, that's gonna be divine when you're biting into one of these cups. So all I wanna do now is pour it into my molds. All I simply did to, to allow this chocolate to firm up nicely is I took one of my silicone cupcake molds, the minis, and then took a paper liner Place that in there. If you only had the paper liner or the silicone liner, you could use just the one. I'm using this just to hold it more firmly in place. So then I'm just going to scoop the chocolate out into the cup. There we go. There we go, you can even that out. I dare say that we could even put a date on top of that and make a little monster face. Why not? 
whole boat having fun and playing around here, see what happens. So we're going to put a mouth on this monster. Again, just dip the goji berry in the chocolate. Rawr. He's got his mouth on there. Now he just needs some eyes. And really use anything in your kitchen that inspires you, fruits or veggies to play around with. Nuts and seeds are great for decoration. Whoa, this chocolate monster looks scary. Do you see that? <laughs> but these make great little cups to serve for Halloween parties. So there you have it, you guys. Hopefully, you'll make some of these gory and delicious treats. Um, you can go ahead and get Romeo on a website, on their website, or you can get it from any Whole Foods or health food store in your area. It's a really delicious, simple, easy to use product, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. So have a wonderful holiday, you guys. I hope you all get dressed up very um, fancifully <laughs> and make some delicious treats to go along with that. Have fun. Take care. There's too much chocolate on my finger. <laughs>